Hello and welcome, it's Saffron here and today we're going to be talking about climbing out of the safety net. Um, so we're talking about times when you've kind of taken a leap of faith and there's been a safety net there to catch you and that's been like the perfect thing at the time and it's kept you, kept you safe um, and nurtured you for that time and then over time that safety net, if you continue to stay in it, it can start to feel a bit restrictive and a bit like you're trapped. Um, so I'll give you an example of what I'm talking about. So in my life, this looks like the time when um, I decided to leave my marriage and come out as gay. Um, and so that was kind of the leap of faith part of it. I didn't know what was going to happen, didn't know where I was going to live, I didn't know what work I was going to do, anything. Um, and then after... Um, a few months the safety net that caught me was um, I was I found a house to rent um, and I had some support from the benefit system um, and then after a time those things so those things were exactly what I needed at the time and it just felt like everything falling into place like the universe is gathering around to support me and then after a time um, it started to feel like those things were kind of restrictive and um, yes, they were keeping me safe and keeping me comfortable and also keeping me from stretching myself. Um, so then it was time to climb out of the safety net and find the next challenge. Uh, so it may be for you that the leap of faith was um, leaving a job without knowing where you were going maybe it was um, leaving a living situation, maybe it was leaving a relationship. Um, so if you think of a time where um, you've had that experience of, of taking a leap of faith um, and landed in a safety net that's, that's held you in a, in a really beautiful way, but in a way that has ultimately ended up feeling restrictive. Um, and if you're in that restricted place now, today's tapping will be for you. Um, it's also going to be useful if there's anywhere else where you're feeling kind of safe and stuck in your life, um, where you're like, oh, um, especially, if, so phrases like better the devil you know kind of sum this up, so um, you can think that like in a workplace, or uh, I don't really like this job, it's not really serving me, but if I leave, things could be even worse, this feeling that things could be even worse if you get out of your safe situation. So um, I'll give you a moment to just reflect on that and think of a situation in your own life where you're maybe just feeling a little bit too safe and a little bit too um, held back and unstretched and unchallenged. And then when you thought of that, you can always pause the video and do a little bit of writing about that or have some more time to reflect. Um, and when you're ready, we'll begin tapping. <coughs> Excuse me. So if you haven't tapped with me before, we begin tapping on the side of the hand. And all you need to do is tap where I'm tapping and repeat the words that I'm saying. So beginning on the side of the hand. Even though I feel really held by this safety net. And maybe that's keeping me from moving on. I choose to love and accept all of myself anyway. Even though this situation is keeping me safe. But it's also keeping me really small. And I'm starting to feel like there's so much more I could be doing. That's okay and I'm okay. And I choose to love and accept all of me anyway. Even though I'm starting to feel As if I've held on to this safety net for a little bit too long. And maybe it's time for me to let go of it now. 
that's okay and I'm okay. And I love and accept all of me now. Moving on to the eyebrow point. This safety net. I was so grateful for it at the time. I'm still really grateful for it now. It's kept me held and kept me safe. And that's felt so positive. But now it's starting to feel a little bit too safe. It was the right thing for me once upon a time. And I'm starting to wonder if it's still the right thing for me now. I wonder if I could be doing more. I wonder if there are, uh, there are other things I'd like to be doing. What new challenges might I like to explore? Part of me really wants to hold on to this safety net. because it has kept me so safe. And feeling safe is really good. Feeling safe means being able to relax. And that's something I really need. And I acknowledge and accept that now. That wherever I go in the future, it still needs to feel safe. That there's another side to this equation. I also want to feel challenged. I want to feel a sense of purpose. I want to feel myself growing and expanding into new and bigger things. Things that I'd like to try. This safety net has become my comfort zone. And it's really good to have a comfort zone. But I'm not so sure that I want to stay in it forever. I'm ready to start considering what my life might look like if I were to climb out of this safety net. I wonder what else exists outside of this safety net. I wonder what, what might be waiting for me. if I were ready to discover it. Opening up to new possibilities now. Ready to find out what's there for me. And maybe I already have an idea of what's there for me.
and I'm ready to start moving towards that now. Thanking this lovely safety net for all that it's given me. And getting ready to climb out and move on now. Embracing my beautiful future. With all of its unknowns and all of its challenges. Ready to find out what the world has to offer me. And what I have to offer the world. Ready for this new journey of discovery. Feeling excited and hopeful, positive about my future. Feeling full of the joy that newness brings. Feeling grateful for what I've had. And excited for what's to come. And take a deep breath. <sighs> How does that feel? That felt really good for me. Uh, felt really exciting to start considering new possibilities and what else might be out there. Um, how did it feel for you? Uh, if you can let me know in the comments, I would love to hear your stories. I'd love to hear what your safety net looked like, what you were, um, what it um, caught you after, what your, uh, what your leap of faith looked like. Um, and yeah, maybe this is a video that you want to do several times as you think about different situations in your life. Um, maybe it's one that you might come back to in the future. So yeah, I'd love to hear from you. I'd love to hear your stories, your feedback, your comments, your suggestions for future videos. Always, always welcome. Um, and I will see you in the next video. Thank you very much for watching.